Hey there folks, it's A&T at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got a little mail. Santee, can you do a video on Old West binoculars? Tori Lauver. Binoculars in the Old West. We can do that. Oh, but we're also going to have to talk about these. Spy glasses. Roll film. An essential piece in any travel bag was a device giving one the ability to see things at a distance. This could help differentiate friends or foes, determine the path of a weather front, or to spot game. Hollywood doesn't seem to overlook them very often, but surprisingly, I don't always see them at historical events. Now, granted, at times I miss things that are right in front of my face. The spyglass dates all the way back to Galileo. 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 Okay, stop. <clears throat> As I was saying, it dates back to Galileo's advancement on the telescope and was often used by navigators and captains on naval ships. Spyglasses, or monocular telescopes, basically used lenses of specific focal lengths to make objects far away appear closer. On this Galilean principle, the lenses can be fixed or adjustable. Some also happen to be collapsible for more portability. I've got you now, Cornwallis. In large towns, they were more exquisite and could be made from gold, ivory, or even tortoise shell. Spyglasses had four designs, the bell shape, the cone shape, the pear shape, and the barrel shape. These were sometimes used in place of spectacles and preferred by the upper class. By the late 1800s, these types fall out of fashion. However, the collapsing design was still in vogue. This one was carried by Brigham Young during his first trek to the Great Salt Lake in 1845. He lost it while chasing down some escaped cattle that decided to fraternize with American buffalo. However, it was later returned to him remarkably unbroken, and he continued to use it on his subsequent trips. We'll make golden history. Charles Varnum, who was chief of scouts for the 7th Cavalry, used a cheap one to try and spot the Indian village on the Little Bighorn River. Well, we all know how that one ended. Just the vital element of surprise. Surprise? General, they know we're here. Yes, but they don't know that I intend to attack them without mercy. I'm out of here. General, that's no surprise. Of course it is. Binoculars were also used by the military. Known as field glasses, they were essentially two monocular scopes together, allowing both eyes to go to work, which actually gave the user more of a three-dimensional picture. Here's a statue of General Warren at Gettysburg Battlefield. He used binoculars on Little Round Top to spot an impending Confederate attack on the Union flank and was able to thwart it. In 1854, Ignacio Porro patented a lens prison system which gave birth to modern day binoculars. So, anyone traveling on the new frontier might consider having one of these useful tools in their kit. Replica binoculars and spyglasses are available today. If you want to get an original, I've seen them on eBay and occasionally at antique stores. <laughs> Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. We should also talk about spy glasses. Ooh.